Uh, I think I've lost it. That was really sketchy. <laughs> Thanks for welcome to my channel. Yep, you know who it is. Bed FPV. The next night here I've got did a recent video of this. I've installed the new Super D dual diversity ELRS antennas on here. Check out the build video up on the screen there. I'm gonna have a fly around here and yeah, I'm just gonna have a fly around. See how I get with my telemetry. Might push it, see how far I can go over yonder way. Hopefully, it won't annoy anyone, and hopefully, nobody will annoy me if I sit on these rocks here and have a rip around. Nice little setup, links down below. This is quite new. The Super D, super for penetration if you want to get through buildings, etc., and you're finding your standard ELRS isn't quite cutting it where you fly. This is going to be the go for you. Nice bit of kit. Check out full specs, full, full text and specs below. Other info, drop by a say hello. Let's go. All looks well. Sporting the one watt ELRS TX. Looks good to go. Like usual, I'm going to fly oh, just over here above land before I take it over the water for obvious reasons. Gogs are recording 200 milliwatts. Front four. Ooh, there's a bird. Okay, off we go. Fly. I can just turn on cameras. This is certainly falling up here, I guess. A little bit aggressive. Oh, um, well, this doesn't really like the wind, guys. It's nothing like my hexacopter that I recently flew. That wind. The wind has all of a sudden just picked up to a big gale, which isn't cool. Just above where I'm sitting there, make sure no one's sneaking up on me. Can't see any sneakers there. I can hear an aeroplane. Before it gets too windy and too hairy. Just really liking this wind guys, I'm really having to push it. I'm going to try and do a little bit of a range test. Let's see how the LQ goes. Like a 100. I know for a fact not to get past this building, normally I start to break up significantly with my ETX. So. Five at a hundred, well I'm climbing the mountain now. Five at a hundred, I'm certainly going to outfly my VTX here folks, so um, yeah, I think I can probably get a number of kilometres with the Super D system, so if you are thinking of getting the system for your long range ERS, yeah, absolutely. Mm, on top of the hill, lovely, and down we go. about turning in the drink. Does it move past LQ5 at 100? Whatsoever. Super D is super cool. Oh, I'm up the water. 
You don't want to hit any of those masts for sure. Low battery, that's me, it's time to go. Not much of a test, however I'm pretty confident that this, uh, this Super D dual diversity is going to take you guys a long, long way if you need to. Just can't see him, whereabouts is he? Dual diversity guys, um, most of my ELRS RX is now going to be dual diversity because um, yeah, this thing goes a stinking long way. I've done a couple of flights with this which I haven't filmed and I've got nearly two kilometres of the quad that in the past has always dropped out of LQ so that's really really good. Let's kill their battery. Uh, I think I've lost it. I don't know if you saw that guys, but <laughs> that was really sketchy. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you saw that, but it and right over the ocean. Um, no, nah, my goggles weren't recording, that would have been hell funny. Uh, I basically lost it, so I just kept going up until I thought it was facing me. Oh, my heart, I'm shaking. Uh, line of sight, guys. Freaking dangerous when you go a long way away. Keep it close, know which way you're facing. I'm a bloody idiot. See you next time. Still got it. Thanks for dropping by. See you later.